Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name's Ellie and today we're doing a sprout haul. I was pretty much completely out of groceries so it was time to do a haul. If we haven't met yet, hey I'm Ellie. Over two years ago I lost over 40 pounds eating all the foods that I like to eat. We did not restrict around here. I'm talking carbs, fast food, everything. Just learned to eat it in moderation. And I maintained it for like two years but in the last couple of months I put on like 15, 20-ish pounds. And now we're on a journey to lose another 40 and finally get to my goal weight. So of course I'm bringing you guys along with me. It is so hot and I don't have AC so if you see me with a sweat stash, don't don't judge me. So usually I'm a Walmart market type of girl, but a Sprouts just opened up near me and they had really, really good like protein options. And I just thought it would be super easy to kind of throw stuff together after a busy day at work. I do work a nine to five and I do live with my boyfriend. So I'm not just cooking for myself. And I got into the really bad habit of making two separate meals. Like the last time that I um, went on a weight loss journey, I was making my calorie deficit meal and then his regular meal. Not only is it really hard to plan like two separate meal plans, but it's also pretty wasteful and really expensive. So this time around, I'm trying my best to not do that. My game plan was to go in and get proteins and then have like the same veggies, proteins, and then just switch up the carb or like the condiments, which is really where the bulk of the calories come from. So that's what I try to do today. I know it's ideal to plan your meals and go in there with a meal plan, but this is the first time that I was kind of taking this approach. So I just went in and saw what looked good. So let me show you what I got. So in their meat sections, they do have a smaller selection, but they have a lot of like pre-made meals. I found this citrus shrimp and vegetables saute meal and it's pretty much a one pan meal it looks like it's going to be enough for me and my boyfriend i'm just going to put some carbs and some veggies for some added volume on the side i like that this one actually has the calories and the macros on it because a lot of them don't at different grocery stores or even at that grocery store it looks like you can literally just throw it on a pan and put it in the oven or even it's small enough to put in like a larger air fryer they also have this garlic lemon chicken meal which look pretty similar i'm going to assume that the calories are going to be a little bit similar of course i'll weigh it out and just kind of use my best judgment but this i'm going to reserve for super busy nights going to put a side of veggies and call it a day these are both also under 12 bucks so for a healthy like whole foods meal that's ready to go you can just pop in your oven not bad at all in my opinion six bucks a person and then i also got a side of mashed potatoes because let's be real they're kind of annoying to make and they were only four bucks and these do have the nutrition facts on them as well so if i want to have some of that i totally can one thing i'll always have is chicken sausage i'll either get them from target tj maxx not tj maxx <laughs> um trader joe's sprouts walmart anyone who has a chicken sausage they have a lot of good options at sprouts and trader joe's actually and i found this one that is 100 10 calories 14 grams of protein it's caramelized sweet onion flavor i was gonna get the chicken pesto one but i went with this one instead love cutting it up and throwing it in a pan with like some egg whites and some veggies in the morning and putting it in a tortilla or uh, putting it on like pastas or some kind of stir fry i've been craving burgers so i did go ahead and get some patties i got these two different meats like i got the 93 7 percent and the 85 15 for my boyfriend just because these are freezable like i could literally just freeze them all individually when we're craving a burger, defrost it real quick. And that way when we're craving a burger, I can use all the other ingredients, but one way you can really save on like calories and fats and stuff is by just choosing a different cut of meat. So the 8515 is gonna be 240 calories and 21 grams of protein per patty. And the leaner one, which is 93.7, 160 calories and 23 grams of protein. That's a super easy way to just cut the calories. I'm gonna be using the same buns because ain't nobody got time for that. And let's be real, the keto ones just have not been hitting lately. That's where I'm going to save all my calories, as well as like the mayo and stuff like that. I'm going to do um, a lower calorie version. If I look gross, I am so sorry, but I am definitely sweating. I'm over this summer, okay? I know when it's like really cold, we're like summer, summer, and when it's hot, I can't wait for it to be over. I'm ready for Uggs, leggings, sweater season. I am done with this heat. And then I did get some seafood. I didn't get that much because I'm not a huge seafood person, you guys. I don't think I'm going to be eating either of these. These are going to be all for my man because I'm trying to get better about it, okay? But I can cook it really well, so. Got some uh, wild-caught sea scallops. These are the jumbo ones. I can't show them to you, obviously, because they're in a little pack. Probably going to grill up with, like, some asparagus and mashed potatoes or whatever side he's filling then i did get one piece of ahi tuna this is going to be my first time making it so all right now let's move on to the carbs you guys already know that rice is a staple but i don't buy that at sprouts because i swear something about that mexican market rice is just better than all the pre-packaged ones just in my opinion you know which one i'm talking about the one that you weigh by the pound all right so i told you guys i was going to make some burgers so i did get these brioche burger buns are they not like the fanciest thing you've ever seen? Like they're so nice and buttered. They literally look like Chick-fil-A buns. Like I usually get brioche buns from Walmart, but these look so fancy. 150 calories and five grams of protein. So I know you can get keto ones for like 50 calories, 90 calories, 80 calories, but they're just not as good. And like if you're going to eat something like a burger that you're craving and then you're going to go 
and change one of the main components that's going to make it not as enjoyable for you and then you're going to go binge later that night or just wish you had a real burger like you might as well just go for the real thing i'd say sacrifice on like the leaner cuts of meats and the condiments you can always take a look at your grocery store and see if they have a lower calorie version that's still like the real version you know i went to their tortilla section and i found these flax and oat bran pita breads now i've seen um like i think they're called joseph's lavash the bread and then also the pitas they have some lower calorie pitas but it's hard to find them these are 70 calories and six grams of protein not bad at all i can pair these with the chicken that i showed you and put like a little bit of greek yogurt sauce on it you can also have this with like the butter chicken and rice from trader joe's that's a really good freezer meal you can have these with any type of meat and they're a little bit more substantial than something like a tortilla so you can get a little bit more full off of these and make yourself like a little wrap or have them on the side. Really random, but I got some croutons to top salads off with. These are just normal organic season croutons. They are 30 calories and yeah, pretty basic. They said it was nectarine season and these are supposed to be really good. They look really beautiful. They just looked juicy, so I had to pick some up. I just got three because if I get any more and we don't go through it, it'll just sit in the fridge and rot. So when I want more fruit, I will go get more fruit. But for now, we got three. And this is kind of carb, but kind of not a carb, honestly. I got the better bagels. These are some expensive as bagels, you guys. Why is four bagels $12? I've seen so many people talk about them because they're super high protein. They're 170 calories, 25 grams of protein. I think a regular bagel is like... 260 calories and like 10 grams of protein or something like that so if you're a panecito con cafe in the morning kind of girl or like a bagel kind of girl bagel sandwich kind of girl then these might be worth it to you because this could count as like your protein source which if you compare it to buying a bagel or something like a coffee bean or a starbucks or something like that then of course it's going to be cheaper for way more protein i just got salad there for greens because the rest of the stuff i got at walmart i got broccoli asparagus green beans and then i get some frozen version of all of those just to have in the fridge but i still do like half my grocery shopping at walmart for like normal stuff like staple stuff like egg whites and cheese and all that stuff that I don't really get at the specialty grocery stores. You guys are quickly going to learn that I am a coffee addict, okay? I'm going to admit it. I need to have my little coffee every single day. It's a highlight of my freaking day. And this holiday season, there are so many good options for like creamers and stuff like that. Especially this time of year, there's going to be so many holiday coffees and I do dupes of them or like low calorie versions on my TikTok and my Instagram. Maybe we'll do some here too. But if you want to see the ones I already have, go on our TikTok, go on my Instagram and check them out but I went into their coffee section and I saw that they had um, nut pods creamer in pistachio flavor I love nut pods it's really good flavor for what it is it's plant-based unsweetened dairy-free non-gmo soy free keto paleo everything free you guys it's just a healthier version and they always have really fun flavors it is a little thinner though I wanted to use this not only as like a creamer but in a cold foam and if you want a thicker cold foam and you're using something like this which is lower in fats just mix one tablespoon of half and half and you'll have a fluffier cold foam all right so that was pretty much it for like the meats and little bits of sides that i got got a couple things for my parents too and one of the things i got for my mom were these organic coconut date rolls she's really into the snacks at sprouts and if i were to have told her that i went to sprouts and i did not come back with snacks she would have snapped my head off so of course I wasn't going to be that rude daughter not freaking getting her some nice little snacks but she is diabetic and I really am trying my best to try to get her living a little bit more of a healthy lifestyle. Because you guys know, if your parents are set in their ways, they're set in their ways. Like, they probably don't want to be told what to do, especially by their child. I've just kind of been sneaking her healthier versions of, like, her favorite stuff or, like, letting her try um, something that I make. And if she likes it, I'm like, girl, that was sugar-free, you know. That. So I got her these no-sugar-added organic coconut date rolls. Not low-calorie, and they're not completely sugar-free, of course. But they are just a healthier version of something that she really likes and really enjoys and I feel like that's the key. Smaller adjustments that are a little bit better for you without completely sacrificing the joy of food. So that was it you guys. That was pretty much the haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I'm super nosy to see what people get at the grocery store just because sometimes you get different ideas or see different things that you wouldn't otherwise have picked up. I'm really hoping that you guys like this one. Let me know if you want to see more and I'm going to be sharing my favorite like high protein staples on a calorie deficit as well as my whole journey to losing another 40 pounds. So if you stuck around all the way till the end, thank you so much. I appreciate you and I'll see you in the next one.